What's up, folks? This is uh, Bruce Kool-Aid Gardner from Juice Box Studios in Kensington, Maryland. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to chop up a WAV file or sample and place it into the EXS24 sampler based in Logic. Um, what I got going on is I got this uh, little, little, little simple pattern, and I'd like to lay a sample in on top of that, or at least some kind of sample chop or whatever. Um, I found a loop that I liked. And um, let you hear that real quick. A little slick little intro. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab my um, my scissor tool, and I'm just going to go ahead and make some sample chops, like on the kicks and snares, or where I think the kicks and snares are. <laughs> Listen for them. You kind of look for the spikes or whatever. The more you start to chop. And again, you don't have to be, you know, perfect because you can always go back in and edit your start points and end points in the EXS24 once you actually dump your selections or regions into the sampler. Okay, now that I've made those cuts, I'm going to open up uh, the EXS24 the way you do that. Um, let me close this one out and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Go into track, hit new, and hit new software instrument. Hit create. And that will open up a new software instrument. I'm going to go down here to my mixer window and actually import the EXS24 sampler in stereo mode. Okay, the sampler pops up. Uh, go ahead and hit edit. The edit window in the sampler pops open. And what I'm going to do. Um, let me pull this down so you can see everything that's going on. It's a little bit tricky here. It gets a little bit messy when you have it enlarged. I'm going to grab all of my selections here, all my region selections, and I'm going to just drag them in into the EXS24 sample editor in continuous zones because I would like to have every sample on its own key or, um, or on its own pad if you have a drum pad or what have you. And as you can see, the whole sample and that's because when you load the samples in that way you always have one shot selected uh, if you wanted to trigger more like a drum sound or a drum kick just unselect one shot and you should have uh, let me go here and uh, make sure I'm engaged good you should be able to get these things to hit one time something like that you know pretty simple stuff Okay, now again, like I said, if you want them there, if you want to edit your sample, you can just double click on it. It's going to get a little messy here. Move this out of the way again. And your, your sample editor window opens up. And you can adjust the start time and end times of your samples just by moving it out. Same thing with that's there. Double click on that. Close up the next region. Same thing with these. So on and so forth. So you can just you get the idea. You can go in and just mess around with the samples. Tweak them out however you see them fit. Once you get that selection in, go ahead and save it. And I'm going to save it as the title of the song that I sampled so I don't forget it. That's always a good thing and you know when you're sampling so that way when you pay your royalties you know exactly who you're paying them for paying them to <laughs> um this is ain't no sunshine it's the name of the song i'm gonna let you guys figure out which artist's rendition of it i sampled I'm not gonna give everything away right <laughs> okay now there ain't no sunshines in there if you want to have that trigger in a little bit more you can actually increase the sustain so when you hit it, it actually plays the whole sample. And, you know, so you should be able to get that there. And you can put it on legato so that when you hit the next sample, it triggers. Um, it'll stop it. It'll just trigger the sample. The next one coming in. Why well, I'm not getting any sound out, I don't know. But anywho. That's how you drag your samples into the EXS24. 
and pop them in so you can play them and have some fun with them. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Uh, tune in again. I'll have some more tips and uh, tricks for you to use in Logic. Peace.